As you'll easily have guessed, given my athletic and muscular body, I'm very much into sports. And when it comes to football, my favorite player would certainly be Lionel Messi. Not because he stands amongst the greatest, tactically or technically, but more so because he epitomizes the importance of collective play by making his partners shine on the field. You see, it takes more than one player to build a working team. You need 11 of them, each of whom has specific functions, such as navigating through the opponent's defense. And to do so can rely on a set of skills, for instance, the extent, the velocity, or the direction of his motion. Now, it turns out that each of your brains is also a football team. And the players would be the brain regions. Each region activates upon specific conditions, for example, low-order sensory stimulation, or contributes to higher-order cognitive tasks. And each region has a dedicated profile of temporal activity with a characteristic amplitude, shape, and dynamics, which together translate into information smoothly flowing on the field of biological matter to lead, at the end of the day, the deserved and desired cognitive goal. Now, in my thesis, if each of your brains is a football team, I could say that I was hired as a coach whose task is to look after more than 1% of all football teams in the planet, because I study patients suffering from autism spectrum disorders, a disability that yields to communication, cognitive and social impairments. And it's not an easy job, because I need to apply very complex mathematical models to probe the temporal evolution of brain regions and their interactions. And I have to do this not on 11, but on hundreds and hundreds of different areas. And on top of this, I actually don't get millions of dollars in doing so. <laughs> Still, what I found is that in the autistic brain, individual regions actually do a pretty good job on their own. They will respond very vividly and very well to stimulation. The problem is more how they collaborate or interact together. A little bit as if midfielders and defenders in a football team would not manage to properly pass the ball to each other. And so, I hope that through this short journey that we've made through the brain together, you realize how my work can contribute to humanity in two equally important perspectives. First, by shedding novel light on brain function, and second, by enabling Switzerland to finally, one day, win the World Cup. Thank you very much.